Hey guys, Mr. and Mrs. Flashback here for the Monday video. We're starting off the week and starting off the new year. Ugh. If you guys watched our last video, first, this is Linda. I'm Cameron. We sell stuff online. If you're new, we buy stuff, garage sales, wherever. Flip it online like eBay, Mercari for a profit. Today's not a day to be that proud of. It's kind of a slower day on eBay. This past weekend was huge for us. Two thousand dollars something. Twenty two. Twenty two hundred forty two sales. Friday being the strongest. Forty six. Something really great. A weekend that. Because one came in last night. We don't always have. Oh, we sold a eight dollar DVD last night, but we'll take a couple bucks. Today was slow. The cool thing was we sold some on a platform we don't usually sell something on. I made a few bucks. We'll go over it, guys, and there'll still be more after this clip with what sells Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So hopefully we'll see how the week progresses, and at the end you'll see a breakdown of the profits. Then we'll go over the numbers first, then we'll show you the items. So we had seven sales across two different platforms. One platform we rarely see, kind of like that kid that's kind of done with you and shows up at the holidays. Um, but we reference our children how we like them by what platforms sell them the best. So eBay yeah. is our favorite child. Yes. Number two lately has been Mercari. Picked Even up the slack of our Poshmark. Poshmark was normally our number two, but Mercari's really picked up and been number two. I Poshmark think it was the holidays group. trying to get on the nice list kind of thing. And it worked. Yeah. And then uh, <laughs> our least favorite is Facebook Marketplace. Oh, did you do the numbers? Oh, no. Not yet. Let's do the numbers first. Do you remember it? Yeah. Gotta do them. You didn't want to finish that spiel? Well, no, because I want to show the item. Oh, okay. Facebook. So... We had, yeah, seven sales, and we uh, just tipped over 140. And there's one sale here that I took an offer on where if it wasn't for this, we would be even very less. So yeah. first item is Facebook Marketplace. Facebook Marketplace got this um, WWE uh, Suplex City I think it's Brock Lesnar. Yeah, Brock Lesnar. Oh, okay. It says the Lesnar South or whatever, Lesnar up here South, a little freeway sign. So it's a graphic tee, it's an XL, and it's sold for $16 plus shipping on Facebook Marketplace. Which is good. I think I'm in it for a couple bucks. So flipping it online for $16 plus fees are only 5% on Facebook. That's one reason why it's great if you can sell it there. That's why we let that kid back in. And time. <laughs> we have this, this is on eBay for like $16 free shipping, I think, on sale. Yeah. So this is now, they're paying shipping this, which is awesome. Now we're going to the eBay items. First step uh, from the Jazz 100 buy, we got composing for the Jazz Orchestra, paperback sold for 10 and some change. Not much. Then we got a New Era 5950 New York Yankees hat. This is a size 8 fitted baseball cap. Sold for $20 shipped. Size 8 hats can be great. Uh, they don't make a ton of them. Oddly enough, size 8 is still too small. I had to like stretch it on my head. It can kind of fit, but it'll start to give me a headache after a while. Beauty uh, is pain. I'm like 8.5. 8.5 um, <laughs> is comfortable. 8.25 is a little bit better, but 8 is a little too tight. Uh, but you, it's rare. You, they only have, like, at lids, you'll find a couple size 8s. They don't have a lot of them and however. So if you can find a size 8 for fitted hats, they can sell a little bit better because they're harder to find. But this one sold for? $20. Yeah, it was, yeah, $20 best offer. Next. Then uh, the DVD 200 buy. We got AD. The Bible continues on Blu-ray. Sold for $8 shipped. Not a whole lot. Next that up, out of, uh, some of our fishing stuff. This is a Foxy Jigs. Some it's new there. old stock. Um, there's a two different ones. A 1 8th and a 1 16th. Sold for $20 shipped. Yep. Pretty good. That's an $80 fishing buy. We sold a bunch of stuff from that. But anything like that's always cool. Then from Camp 2022, we got this Sony remote, sold for eight and a half shipped. And last but not least. <laughs> Already over, guys. It's only been a couple minutes. <laughs> there you go. Um, this is a third of our day. Uh, this is a pair of KB Toys promotional watches, uh, men's or women's. They have, uh, I'm not sure the graphic on it. It's a little toy soldier, time to service customers. Oh, there you go. So looks like maybe um, they gave them out to their employees at one point, maybe. Yeah, KB Toys, I remember them. Oh, we've had them for a while. Took a best offer up. $50 ship. So pretty good. Uh, I think I had them list at like 80 or something, and the person went back and forth. So maybe it can go a little better. There's two different sizes. So Get the big one. And the little one. Can't really see, but yeah, so those are 50 bucks. Happy to see them. They've been out for a while. There's another watch in here, too. I don't even know what it is. Hmm. Interesting looking watch. ID, hmm. anyways, we'll have to check that, but yeah, 50 bucks on those. Happy to see them go. Hopefully, there'll be some more stuff to show you guys in the next second here with what sells tomorrow, Tuesday. And we're back. What sold on Tuesday? How did we do? We have 14 sales across two platforms. For just over 420. First item sold for 420. No, no, this is something Linda picked up at the thrift. 
She always finds junk for the house that she's going to work on. Anyways, first item. Oh, first item will be Mercari. First item Mercari, we got this pair These of bands. Cool. These are the classic, um, yeti. classic style, but it's a Yeti on a blueprint. It's really cool. It's got a little surfboard or snowboard or something, but it's a little kid's van. We sold a lot of kids themed vans this past year, and Mercari and Poshmark have done well with the kids vans. Yeah. I think we sold a shark one on Mercari. We sold a patchwork one on um poshmark so we sold quite a bit some glitter ones glitter ones yeah. uh, these ones were three bucks or three or four bucks and they sold for 25 dollars plus ship. next item okay. so to start next us item. on off uh, on ebay uh cameron's got some um auto stuff this is mcguire's car auto three in one wax and sold for 20 and eight cents spent like <laughs> A hundred bucks on a bunch of auto stuff. A bunch of it was new. Got it from our main source. We did pretty well on it, but we're kind of selling off the last little bit here. It was a bunch of brand new dead stock stuff. Then we have this Legion Bone Devil wizard figure from uh, D&D. Sold for 17 and some change. He came from our little Funko toy bot. He was in there. He's pretty cool. Linda thinks he's freaky, but he's a good figure. Next up, uh, this is from the bin store, and Linda found it. This is The Secret Life of Sunflowers. It is a large print paperback book, sold for $17 ship. That was when we went to the bins, and it was a dollar day. I'm hoping next week we might be able to go to the bins or the week after and try to go on $3 day. But a dollar day, bought a bunch of books and DVDs. We did okay. First one to sell. Just listed that last night, too. Cool. That so, makes me feel special. That's a, a dollar and a 17 on the media. That's all day for us. That's a success. Next up, we got an exacto knife set in a cool wooden box. It's right out of the movie um, Dexter. No, just kidding. Might be. And that sold for $23. One. Then next up, we have a six set of Oneida Chatelaine cocktail forks. They're all brand new. I don't even know where I got these. I've had them for a while, but they sold for? $15 ship. That was an offer to watchers. Then we have oh, cool. these reindeer blow molds. They're light toppers um, they're, they're by adorable. General Foam Look Plastics Core. A little wear on them, a little Sharpie to touch them up. Got these at a thrift store. Four of them. Four of them? Four yeah. of them for five bucks. Great deal. Adorable. They were in the, the boutique section they had. This store, thrift store is so cheap, but boutique, and these were five bucks. And these sold after Christmas now. They sold for? Uh, $65 shipped. 65 bucks. Uh, they're really light. Four of them. They're all the same good. but yeah that'll be a great deal there look out for blow mold stuff big stuff little stuff there's a the collectors for it next up um cameron purchased that lot of um figure boxes from somebody who thought there was figures in the boxes well, but there was no figures and then in he the thought boxes. he told the way he described them they were more boxes like you know this size only but a couple were in huge. reality we could fit zane and tori in most of them they're huge so this box is it's big it's a batman one on upon the screen it looks great linda and i have talked about this we sold a punisher one the other day we actually did well on that it only cost us 40 something to ship it yeah i want to say we made like 80 or 90 LA. bucks or something no i don't think it went to la but it was yeah all... it stayed in cali that's Maybe. why we sold it but it was like 80 or 90 bucks i think we made on the deal which was great i spent yeah. 150 on everything we just sold this awesome batman one which would have been probably the one i would have kept if i did keep one because i like that even though i'm wearing a superman shirt this is a he gift doesn't my like family. superman uh, my father-in-law gave me this shirt and i like superheroes superman's not my favorite but the shirt fits so i wear it um uh, my batman one's kind of destroyed um, anyways, uh, this is a cool Batman one, Flashpoint, Prime One Studio, Statue Box. The guy I got an offer of $110, and? It sold for $110. It's going to LA. I don't know what the shipping's going to be. This one is bigger than the Punisher one, so we'll have to see. I'm kind of taking a chance on it. I think it's going to be 50 or 60 bucks, which I'm okay with, because this is getting us closer to all of our money back. If I got all my money back on this deal and I have the rest, I'm fine. Um, this was a buy that I thought there was going to be more to it. They're going to be smaller boxes, easier to manage, and we're going to have lots of profit the shipping is going to beat us up but if they all sell for 110 we'll make money yeah good money the problem is it's going to take a while but luckily they're up in the rafters they're out of the way and another one's going out of here next item next item we have a jazz 100 buy we have the bill evans tribute uh cd and we actually sold bill evans uh two set over yeah. the weekend yep so same buy there you go and that one sold for almost 12 dollars shipped good job tori keep drawing Next. Then we've got Sonic Adventure for Sega G Dreamcast disc um, only. It doesn't have the front cover. It actually, at first I thought it was this one, but I found the case in this big box that it came in. But the, ca the back right. of the case, but it's <laughs> rough shape, guys. But I still included it, uh, listed at the price the disc only one would go for, and it sold for? $38 shipped. 38 bucks. So that was a $50 Dreamcast buy. It came with this game, 
number two, which is like an $80 game, and a Dreamcast, multiple controllers, and other games. So very good deal. Then we got The World According to Garp on DVD. That's from peace, Robin um, Williams. our local thrift store. It was $250. Sold for $12 shipped. Then we got a vintage Rapala countdown. It's a good Magnum. looking lure right here. Look at that thing. This is a 14 GM. I'm not sure what that means. But anyway. It's a CD14 sinking Magnum made in Finland. Cool. Yeah, Finland. And it's really cool. Like, I guess it's like a green color too. Yeah, it's green. Uh, this came in the fishing buy. We just sold some lures the other day. And this day. sold for? $15 shipped. 15 bucks. Very cool. Then we got Fang, Land Shark, Where the Wild Things Are on CD. Sold for $13 ship. Same thrift store. We got the Garp DVD. This was two bucks and it sold pretty quick for 13. Next up, we have a Waterford Crystals box. Um, it's got a seahorse on it. It holds a paperweight, I guess. Probably yeah, like a seahorse paperweight, maybe. It was a dollar kind of garage sale so just for the box, but I picked it up. Sold for $10 ship. Not a whole lot, but anyways it's out of here is that it yeah that's it guys really easy shipping day aside from this huge box but these boxes actually come most of them come in the original cardboard box they were shipped in so that's the good news we can shove some bubble wrap or some padding in there to kind of fill the box a little tighter than what they shipped it and should be able to have an easier way to pack it and get it out of here mm -hmm. we'll see you guys in a second with what sells to you tomorrow and we're back wednesday sales how do we do we had 15 sales on just one platform but that's okay for just over 6 30. really good day today i'm trying to think about what it was it's like one a couple of higher dollar items but a lot of just bread and butter stuff so let's get into it these are wednesday sales as linda said and the first item is oh it's not here you'll see on the screen we do have it it's just over there it's so it's a lot of 10 large print hard hardcover books so it's mixed authors it's not the same author we just picked up stuff that's a lot of large print which people want um this is probably our third time where we sell a lot of large print books. Yeah, we got them from the library. Yeah, so we our library has a used bookstore in it, um, which is awesome. We go there and we are members of our library. It's like $15 I don't know, it's, a year or something you like get 10 that. 10% yeah. off every day and then 50% off on first Saturday of the month. Yeah, so I, I mean, round it's up awesome, a lot of yeah. times, anyways. Like, I don't even always get my discount because I the ladies there are super nice. They're just we keep uh, our library alive. Yeah. So, so, um, we got all these. They're mostly mystery, suspense, thriller novels. It's not like I try to keep them separate from like love novels versus like this because this is kind of stuff that I feel like someone might read mystery, suspense thriller type novels and i got a bunch of artists they were i think a buck a piece artist authors, authors. <laughs> a buck a piece how many do we have in there ten? uh 10 of them and they sold for uh 50 dollars shipped so medium mail shipping is probably still going to be about 15 bucks so we're in them for 25 we'll probably make 18 bucks on the deal not making a ton but we all like to support our library and this sold in a couple of days the last one i had 13 books and i sold them for 60 dollars shipped these sold for 10 I'd usually just go there and I've been Top buying, or, or 60, 50. 50, yeah. I've gone there and buying what they have every time that they have a lot of them, buy them, make a little lot, list it, and they've been selling, third time. Yeah. If you could find them by the same author, probably could do even better, because ours are mixed authors, but yeah. I'm guessing someone who's a large print reader is just buying these to have some books to read, because obviously normal print can be a little small. Anyways, next item. Next up, we've got this NFL uh, Simeon Rice, number yeah. 97. He plays for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Well, he did. Back he in did. The 2000s. And this is a bobblehead of him sold for $28 shipped. This was from the stuff that I had back home. I got a bunch of sports stuff. I used to live in Florida and I shipped it back with me. I think this was in there and we ended up selling them. I used to just collect all the sports stuff I could. I'm not even, a, I'm a Bucks fan in the sense that I used to live there, but I'm actually a Seems Cowboys like fan. The box. Oh, he's in there. We had to switch him around. He's not the right way, but anyways, he was a defensive end there and he actually was pretty good and they won a Super Bowl. Next up, we got a set of root. Uh, root brand unscented Grecian colonnettes di dinner candles. They're nine inches tall, box of four. Picked those up at Salvation Army in our town, and those sold for thirty six dollars shipped. I think they were six bucks, but thirty six bucks on these. Not some I usually would have thought looking at this box, but I pulled them out, looked them up, and it paid off. And in our town, we will only pick up candles during the winter because well, no. they will melt I in the garage. These, I stored these in the. We have a. <laughs> Our garage leads into our utility room, and we have some shelving up there. So I have a box of stuff up there that's stuff that can't be in the garage. It's got some health and beauty stuff. We had some candles a long time ago in our old apartment that were really cool, and they they finally sold one day, and I went to go in there, and they were all it melted was, together. It was just this pile. <laughs> it was like this huge pile of like 12 big 
chunky candles that had all melted into this and in lava it, and there room. was a bag in it too that was like it was like stuck in the bag was stuck in it and, and they had been listed bag. for a long time so long who knows time. how long it even took them to melt but they were tucked in the corner yeah pulled them out and i was like well this is no good so the <laughs> candles will be listed and if there are they'll be put inside next item <laughs> next up we got a pair of lights of america 23 inch fluorescent under cabinet light fixtures picked those up from r and r sold for 65 dollars shipped brand new sealed um just some stuff that he had grabbed them brand new sealed stuff easy to look up easy to list then we've got a pair of adidas samba classics these are kid size eight and those sold for 26 dollars shipped and we picked those up at savers they have some more on the front but they're like four bucks we've been doing pretty well with kids shoes i watched another youtuber who was like i'm done with kids shoes i never make any money and um I'm not, you're not going to make a ton. You have to keep your mark, realize what you're going to sell them for. But these are, again, Adidas Sambas, four bucks to thrift. The soles look great. It's just that little suede wear in the front. Just like any other kid yeah. shoe. And yeah. they sold for 27 bucks or whatever it was, 26, 26 bucks. Yeah. yeah, they'll probably go first class still. We sold those Yeti ones the other day. And, um, yeah, we don't pay a lot for these. I paid it more than I normally would for these. Um, but still, made some money. Easy money. Then we got a three lot of 27 watt, 5,500K photography light bulbs. Um, I think these are from the ones that I used to have a long time ago. The ones, the other lights I used to have. Oh. I had a bunch of these lying around, they're brand new. Um, and just listed them because I use different lights now and these sold for? $32 shipped. Boxes are all kind of dusty and beat up, but they're out of here. Next. Next up we've got Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time for Nintendo 64. This is a $500 video game lot and that sold for $50 shipped to a repeat buyer. Very good. Very Actually good. I saw a TikTok today on this game that was like oh you can beat it in under five minutes and it's like shows you like this I don't know if it was real or not but it was it didn't look like it had any chop screens or anything. But it was like, you, there's like secret paths and stuff you go and then I never, you beat the game. I never and I'm really like, played it. I mean, obviously weird. you see the Mario, the the Mario, you know, when they're playing the Mario to see if they can beat it super quick. You yeah. always see people doing that. Speed runs. Speed runs are pretty big on all games. Well, this one wasn't a speed run. It was a, like a secret thing. Yeah, I don't know. But so I, I never I really like, played this mm. game. Even though I played it 64, I never really played Zelda, so. Next up, we've got a set. This is a set of 15 stamps. These are the 2007 Star Wars stamps um, featuring Boba Fett, Yoda, R2-D2, Han Solo. Um, and those sold for 10 and a half shipped. Yeah, I don't even know. We don't really make you probably still better off just selling using the stamps. But I don't I just feel bad about that. I feel like just selling them hopefully to a collector. Yeah. You know, there's just something about they look cool. I hate to just kind of use them. So anyways, they, we have a bunch of them. We have like we had 20 or so. We've sold through probably seven or eight of them. And we have a bunch left. They came from a big buy during COVID that I got from a guy. And um, yeah, they've been pretty good. They came out in 2007. Well, let's see. A stamp now is what, 60 well, these, cents? But these are 41 cents. Oh, they're, they're not only, forever. Oh, they're not forever? It's worth $6.15. Okay, so no, we, we probably mm, kind of like would lose. Because if you pay for the shipping, it's probably three. Or we kind of break even. <laughs> it's like a break even point, maybe. Well, the only thing you can send with a 41 cent stamp would be a postcard. Yeah, and you have to use two stamps because now it's more than that. Not so, a postcard. Oh, it's just one stamp. But what would a forty-one yeah. cent stamp work? On a postcard, yeah. But a postcard is just a thin piece of paper. You want to send a letter, you have to do a first-class stamp, and that's not it. Yeah. So, anyways, whether it's a loss or whatever, I mean, not a loss, but we could use it for our own ship mailing. We don't really mail a lot of stuff. Yeah, I don't. Have and right like now. I said, I'm just I'm a Star Wars fan. We both are. I just think this looks cool, and I'm hoping it goes to a collector. And we yeah. have more, so you know what? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. okay. Next. Next up, we got Majestic Mike Trout, number 25. Majestic for the... Mike? No, it's Mike Trout. It says Majestic in the list. I know, but it sounds weird saying Majestic Mike. Mike think, makes me think of Magic Mike, like the knockoff Totally version. different. This is Majestic Mike. It's a knockoff. Trout, number 30, number 21, 25. Um, it's a gray um, it's got face wear. jersey, it's got size 2XL. Right there and a hole right there. Some, I don't know if they were smoking or what. Probably not smoke. It doesn't look like it's burned. But anyways, this was in the R&R &R buy and it sold for? $25 ship. Listed it for a lot cheaper because of the condition. Why'd you list as Majestic Mike if you didn't want it to be no, called that? But that's what is the brand. But when I when you say Oh, the brand is Majestic? Yes. Majestic is the brand. So a Majestic Mike, Mike Trout. Trout jersey. But the way you said it was like Magic Mike. Majestic Mike. Mike. It's like, ooh, <laughs> Linda's curious. No, anyways, next item is a lot 
lot of Nintendo Wiis. Um, there are five of the systems. They're broken, defective, parts only, missing stuff. They were sitting right up here. Yeah, annoying. Wonky Wiis. You, most of them have like disc read errors where they just won't read the disc. I've tried my best to, you know, clean them up, see if I can get them to work. Some of them have other issues where the disc will get stuck. Usually that's what you see with Wiis if they power up is there's some kind of a disc read error. These are all ones I've had, bought them. They're not worth me trying to fix. I'm not going to take the time anymore. So I listed them for parts and they sold for? Uh, $80 shipped. They've been up <laughs> there for the a while. Look at the name on that one though. Hmm, interesting. Too bad they didn't buy this story, that one. Yeah. They have a Star Wars in their name reference and then they bought video game stuff. But hopefully they can Dang. repair them. I know people can fix the Wii's and stuff or replace the lens whatever. So good, get them out of here. Then we got a, a sheet music binder. This is Mel Bay, the banjo encyclopedia. So for $20 shipped, pick that up at our local library. Yep. Again, looking at the library, guys, they have that used bookstore. I think yeah, we're not a, taking a books buck fifty or two bucks. Library. And it sold. 20 bucks. Easy money. Then we got a pair of 1989 original Mitsubishi Station Ster Stereon service manuals, yep. volume one and two, from the $700 manual buy, sold for $72 shipped. A lot of the Mitsubishi manuals from the buy don't sell as well. Uh, the Montero ones sell pretty well, the Eclipse ones, but a lot of these other ones are not so great. I was happy to see this one go, though. Make some money. Then we got a pair of Ultra Women's Torin 6s. These are gray running shoes, size 8.5. So we'll pick those up from Savers. I think they were $11.99, but we got a discount. Sold for $42 ships. They're in pretty good shape. They have one little spot here on the front that's got a little wear and then some midsole wear, but yep, sold pretty quickly for $42. Next up, we got a pair of Converse. These are all star Chuck Taylors. They're a Jamaican Rasta high top. Um, kind of see me. Men's nine or a women's oh, eleven. Cool. And those got a best offer of thirty five dollars. I think they've been up for a while. I think I've had them for a while. I think I paid ten bucks for them. So well, yeah, this would be at least three years based on that picture. Two years because I thought your parents' house. Yeah, but. Who knows when? We're yeah, for it could have year. been up to three years. Up to three years. Um, but either way, they've been up. I thought they would have sold better. Finally did. And then last item. Last item, we got a lot of two uh, Fram brand ultra synthetic oil filters sold for $23 shipped. These are from that uh, auto parts buy that we just sold the Meguiar stuff from. So we're running out of the stuff from there, but it's all been selling. Good so that's it, guys. A good mix of stuff. Not really the hardest packing day. Probably the... Um, cabinet lights or whatever the longest yeah, thing long, yeah. and kind of really got to be protective of everything else is super easy but we're blessed another good day on ebay we have tomorrow to show you so stay tuned and we're actually back yeah we started a recording and uh, turns out camera we wasn't recording and i had my head on the intro so you didn't get to see it either but we're gonna go ahead and go over <laughs> now what sold on thursday how did we do we had 14 sales across two platforms for um just under 550. the good news is it was much smoother this time because we knew all the answers before so anyways uh first item that sold was on poshmark this is a vintage mcm panasonic panapoint electric pencil sharpener and it sold for 85 dollars plus shipping it was 25 bucks uh, i've been watching some people who do a lot of cross posting and they encourage you to cross post almost everything to all the platforms you never know what people are buying we've been surprised at some of the stuff that's sold on poshmark especially so the pencil could say that Especially the pencil sharpener. Yeah, it's one of those items where you wouldn't think Poshmark is where someone's going to buy an orange pencil sharpener, but it's sold there, so you never know. Mercari, same way. We've sold some stuff there where we're kind of surprised that it's sold. Next. So, start us off on eBay. We got this Disney pin. This is California Adventure 2001 annual pass holder preview white, white glove, glove yeah. pin. It's a little dangly one. It's super cute. Sold for $8 shipped. We will take it. Then we've got Animal Kingdom, the TV series. This is uh, the first season, sold for $20 shipped. It was two bucks at a thrift store near us that closed. Yeah, sad. Didn't then from r, r we picked up this uh, Sony Walkman. This is DEJ100, sold for $25 shipped. These Walkman guys, I mentioned this in the part we recorded before that we weren't recording, but these do sell still. So pick them up. You can get them for cheap. Test them out. A lot of them will have issues, but if you get them for cheap, it'll be worth it. And some of them go for 30, 40, 50 bucks, depending on which one you have. Next up, we got Mickey's Dangerous Chase for Game Boy. So for eight and a half ship. Eight and a half. Eight and a half ship. Next. And then we got a set of six vintage yellow cookie cutters by Stanley Home Products. Sold for $14 ship. I came in a big uh, cookie cutter buy that we got years ago, and I sold a bunch of the cookies. I bought a whole like bucket full of them, and I parted them all out into different sets. That's one of the last ones to sell, and it finally sold. But pretty cool. There you go. Yellow color is pretty nice, though. I mean, you don't see a lot of yellow cookie cutters. You take the red ones or the aluminum ones or whatever. Yeah. So 
Next. Next up, this is Cameron's favorite thing to sell. This is an AI car radio stereo dash install kit. This is for the 0407 Chrysler Dodge Jeep that sold for 10 and a half shipped. So these, Linda can usually make them go first class. You can like bubble wrap them up and send them, but um, they're not worth it. There, there's some that are smaller that sell for like 10 or 12 and it's a little bit better, but not these ones. That one, no. So it's just more happy to get it out of here. Then now the $80 PS2 buy, we've got Disney's PK out of the shadows, sold for 11 and some change. How many games left on that buy? Then we've got this Panasonic Charger base and the maroon color. Oh, yes. Yeah, and that sold for $12 shipped to a repeat buyer. Yes. Next up, uh, Cameron was kind of, what would be the word? Exploring. Yeah, exploring. And this didn't fit. So this is an N Focus Studio dress. It's a size 14. It's gold and silvery and shimmery and sleeveless. And sold for $24 ship. Who would have thought that these curves could fit in the 14, right? Yeah. Anyways, uh, that came from the dead stock buy. I got a bunch of stuff that was brand new for a dollar. So then out of the $1,200 tool buy, we got an 03 Honda Element manual sold for $105 ship. We have like eight of these. Yeah. So quite a bit. Oh, I think we got more than eight. Yes. Then we've got an Epson Workforce um, duplex document scanner, and that sold for $150 ship. Paid $15 on the state sale. So I thought it was a printer, too. I just looked it up. I'm like, oh, these sell really well. And then they, they said it worked. Uh, there is a little uh, part of the back that kind of is, is wedged out a little bit. I'm guessing someone dropped it or hit it or something, but I tested it out. It scans perfectly. I worked with my computer. And sold in its whole in day for one fifty shipped, so pretty good deal for fifteen bucks. Then a uh, seven hundred dollar manual buy. We've got a Acura three point two CL ETM for o one to o two. Um, it isn't the three point two CL; it's just the CL, but it is um, same. The same thing. It'll work. Yeah, it'll work for it. And that sold for thirty dollars shipped Nicely to a repeat done. buyer. And last but not least, we have this copy of the twenty thirteen Super Bowl program what is that 47 the program from february 3rd 2013 mm -hmm. and 47. that is the 49ers versus the ravens sold 14 dollars shipped going global shipping program or well, your mom's 49ers sadly lost actually in this super bowl fun fact coaches were brother versus brother they have two coaches were brothers and they played each other fun. and the power went out in the middle of the super bowl as well another fun fact Fun. Not for Linda, but for those of us that like sports. Anyways, that's all we got, guys. Horrible. We appreciate. Oh, did we go over the things that sold last night? Was it last night? Yes. We had three sales. Three sales. We sold a DVD that was not good. Oh, uh, that sold. Let's. We're not talking about it. We're talking about what sold. We sold a Pokemon card for nine dollars, and then we also sold a. What was the last thing we sold? DVD. Another DVD that was actually decent that we sold it like a couple days ago. So wait, not the five dollar one. The five dollar DVD I said first was not a good sale. Then no, I said yeah, the, the Pokemon bad. Magneton Pokemon, and then there was a Mad TV DVD. So sold. I think it cost us at the end of the day that five dollar one. I don't know if it cost us. We might have broke even. I don't know. It's only five dollars. But the shipping was three forty nine. That's two ten, right? Because it was but sold it was... for five fifty nine. So it's two ten. After your fees are going to be like. You know, maybe a dollar, so you're a dollar ten. I don't think I probably paid anything for it because it probably came in a bulk DVD buy. And then you're going to lose the cost of a mail. Have you guys checked out the new thing where you can click on the order details number, your order number, and it'll show you how much you're making on each item? It's pretty cool. It is cool. They caught up with all the other platforms. Yeah, Anyways, basically. that's it, guys. We'll see you in the next video with what sells this weekend.